Hey everyone, until about six months ago, the only protection I would wear on the trail would be this helmet and maybe a pair of gloves. But after a couple pretty good spills, I decided to pick up a pair of these uh, G-Form knee pads. And I've been wearing those pretty much every single ride, whether I'm just doing a trail ride or going to go out and maybe do some skills training, uh, jumps or drops. And then I had a pretty good spill about six months ago. I uh, tore up my arm pretty good, so I went and picked up a pair of the uh, G-Form elbow pads too. And most rides, uh, I won't wear the elbow pads, uh, but today I'm going to be doing a little bit of work practicing some uh, cornering skills and uh, then go out for a ride. So I thought I'd break them out just because when I do spill, it doesn't hurt. Rides over, and I thought I'd give you a better look at the uh, knee pads uh, in use. So, I've had them on for a couple hours, and you can see the, uh, the elbow pads are the material's kind of thin, uh, which helps it to uh, kind of wick the sweat away pretty nice. The uh, elbow pad itself has got a lot of nice coverage, uh, especially on the sides. It's got a kind of a silicone strip around the inside, which helps to hold it up. I haven't adjusted them at all, uh, all day today. The one drawback of the thin material is every now and then you'll get a little snag on something, whether it was a branch or whatever. Um, this uh, knee pad ended up, got snagged on a, a pedal in a wreck, so it ended up kind of running almost like a pair of pantyhose or something. So. Um, so that, I'm not sure how long they'll last. I've had them for about uh, seven months or so. I've been wearing the knee pads every single ride, uh, even through the winter. Um, I've probably worn the elbow pads maybe a dozen times. So uh, they're holding up pretty well. I end up, you can kind of see the, uh, the sticker that's on there is starting to come off from uh, washing it. But uh, I just wash them and then just kind of hang them up to dry. Um, so. Durability is probably the offset to uh, the comfort of these. Um, if you're not out doing serious downhill or enduro racing, I think that these are, are great. I mean, for, for my level of, of craziness, um, it's, it's protected me um, pretty, pretty well. So um, the, uh, the nice thing about these, uh, if on the website, they claim that even though this material is soft, to the touch, which makes it very comfortable to wear, that if something hits it super hard, like a really fast impact, like a sharp edge of a rock or something, they claim that there's some molecular thing that goes on that ends up binding this up really tight, so it's almost like having a, a hard shell uh, knee pad. So I don't know if that's the case. I know that I've, I've wiped that a couple times and I didn't feel anything on my knee, it just kind of you know, just kind of muffled it up. So um, I, I think it must work. So um, I think if these end up wearing out, I'll, I'll probably buy another pair. Uh, just because a knee pad that you will wear 
is better than a great one that's so uncomfortable you, you don't want to wear it. So uh, same thing just, just like a helmet. If a helmet is not comfortable, you, you may take it off climbing a fire road and that's when you're going to fall and hurt yourself. So uh, I think that the pads are by far one of the most important parts of the safety equipment that I wear. I mean, it's right behind my helmet. Um, I do wear my gloves. Uh, I picked up, I had a pair of Bontrager gloves that had a nice set of uh, pads on the palm because uh, my hands get kind of tore up. But I ended up getting these hand up gloves and uh, I love them. I mean, they're like $15, I don't know what, what I paid for them, but uh, what I like about them is there's no strap or Velcro thing that gets in the way, so it's super easy to take on, take off and, and put on, uh, especially when you're stopping to <laughs> change batteries and GoPros and stuff. It's super easy to be able to come off without having to mess with straps. So anyway, now one more thing that um, I started wearing uh, probably about seven months ago, and this is after a pretty bad wreck where I went and wrecked into a mountain laurel bush a uh, real craggly hardwood and it, it, it tore my arm up pretty bad and I realized that if I had gone into that bush a different way I might have lost an eye so I picked up some uh, some good uh, riding sunglasses and these I picked up I would strongly suggest picking up some kind of eye protection and these are nice because they have replaceable lenses so in the winter time I run kind of a light yellow lens which brightens the trails up if it's real real shady and these uh, mirrored ones are really really good at, at blocking out the, the, the glare from the sun without making it too dark in the woods. Well that's it. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description down below of the knee pads, elbow pads and I think I'll even include the link to the uh, sunglasses that I've got. Um, if you have any questions uh, leave them in the comment section. Uh, if you like this, go ahead and please give me a thumbs up. And if you're just like me and refuse to act your age, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching.